Okay, I've got all of the, uh, the porch posts hewed. They're all cut to length and ready to go. This red cedar is not the easiest thing to hew because of the knots. The grain changes constantly as you're going down the, the timber. And so you have to keep chasing the grain around the knot. It is a pretty wood. I'm working on the plate logs now that will hold the rafters up, still set on. Originally, I was going to use two 12 foot 6 by 8s for the plate for the rafters to set on, but we decided to put a set of steps right here in the center, and I didn't want a post right in the middle of the steps, so I added a post, and with the length of the timbers that I had, they weren't quite long enough to go across three posts, so I'm going to put it up here in three separate pieces. Uh, this is the middle piece, and it has a, a half lap on both ends of it, I've got one of the other ones cut, and I'm working on the last one, and I'll show you how I'm doing that. In working these pieces out, it's similar to uh, working out a, a log. I get it up here on the horses, and I check it in the center with the level and both ends, and then I've planed the top and intrude this end here is trued up with this end here. You can see my level sitting there, so I can start laying everything out. And I put a center line on it. You can see right there, and I'll, I'll lay everything out off of that center line, and that way I can keep everything pretty accurate. I've got three separate lines here. This actually right here is the cutoff line. I make another mark and a line out here at an inch, and when I work the half lap out, I'll come back and then cut back to this line here, but I'll, I'll do that with a chainsaw and then clean it up with a chisel. But just by cutting this an inch extra, it makes sure that I don't mess this line up. I have a, another chance to get this one accurate. And this is four inches from here to here, and that's my, my overlap. The posts are six by six, and this part of it right here on the underneath side will have an inch that's actually sitting on top of the post, and then the, the half lap here, and this will be held together with uh, some half inch lag bolts that goes through the, the timber and down into the top of the post. I just transferred these lines down the, the side and I hooked my square on the top and I measured down three inches there and three inches there. And I'll just draw a line across there and that will be my cut. Now, this timber piece of timber here will lap over the center so the waste will be on this side down here. I've got all my lines that I'll actually cut or scored and I've transferred the line the half lap line the cutout is transferred to the end of the log here you can see the X that'll be the waist that I cut out so I'll turn this up and I'll rip this line here first with my chainsaw on both sides and then I'll come back and I'll cut this across I'm giving this just a slight undercut from here to here so that these edges will sit down tight. I've got, well, it's less than a sixteenth. I've got a little bit of a hump right here I need to take off. Put my slick. Okay, I'm in good shape there. Also from here to here, I'm straight across here where the, the joints come together, but I have given myself a slight undercut from here across. It's about uh, a little over 16th, 
I may have to make a handsaw pass here and here and across here to make this thing fit. So I've given myself some undercut there so that I can bring this together and have a nice clean fit all the way around here and around here too. Now I'm getting ready to uh, cut this off. This is where I left the extra inch and then the actual end of the total length, I'll get it all cleaned up. <laughs> Got the beams up and the posts are set and plumbed. I've got to apologize for not getting this on film. Had uh, a little bit of a malfunction with the camera. A neighbor came up with the tractor and was so kind to help me get these up here with the front end loader on his tractor safely. They're pretty heavy, but they're up there, bolted down, half laps fit nice. Originally, I was going to use three posts, and that was the reason that I set this one piece here in the center this short block to hold up the, the center post but we decided to put the steps right in the center of the porch and so that made for four posts which i think looks nice the floorboards are beginning to shrink in the heat that we've had and these cracks between the the boards will let any rain that blows in underneath the roof flow on through and not sit on the porch i put a string right in the center and the the center marks that i made on top of the beams, I was able to line everything up nice and straight off of that string. I bolted everything down through the half lap to the top of the post with half inch lag bolts on the top of all the posts. Had to do just a little bit of fitting on this half lap here, but I got it to where it looks pretty good. For the rafters tie on, I screwed a uh, one of the oak 1x6s on there to that log. This log that it's actually screwed to is pretty badly twisted and not knowing whether everything was parallel with the beam, which needs to be when you're cutting rafters so that you can cut them all the same. I, uh, I snapped a white line on the floor. I'm not sure you can actually see that. It's kind of faint on this end, but I came seven foot six from the outside edge of the porch and made a mark and I snapped a white line on the on the floor i rigged up a little hanger where i could drop a plumb bob these are coming out from the board three three inches as you can see there's a wedge behind that one i had to do that to plumb it just the, the little hanger itself and then i was able to drop a plumb bob from that down to the floor and then i measured back to my white line and lo and behold this thing was within an eighth of an inch of being the same on either end i was really shocked that it came out that close. What I'm gonna do is to put another oak board up there, one by six. I'll have to put little shims behind it that will keep it plumb so the peak cuts of my rafters will all fit up here. So I'll, I'll double this up and shim behind it to get it accurate. I've cut a lot of, well actually there's 13 of these little wedge pieces here. Uh, they're oak, and I'm putting them on with what, just a single screw in the in the center. But you can see this is tapered from here to here, and I'll show you why I've cut them like that. After I got uh, both ends established, that first block there on the end is down, plumb down to the uh, white chalk line and set back the appropriate distance. And I put a string up there. I also have a a block like that on the other end and I put a string on it and I measured off the string to the ribbon that's on the wall the one of the six oak and I used a torpedo level to plumb and check what I needed to do and so every one of these is on on a taper and this log was pretty badly twisted so tapers are all different down through there but I've got the thing pretty much lined up I've got a few more to put on and then I can put uh, another 
one by six over the top of these that'll actually attach the peak of the rafters to. Putting on this second ribbon that the rafters will actually attach to, I had to put a helper up here to help me to hold this up till I can get a couple screws in it here. Putting up the tie beams, you one at each end and one close to the center of the post in the middle and be anchored to the house. I've ripped all these down to where they're five inches in the height. They're about two and a quarter, two and a half inches thick. They should hold pretty good. Mm -hmm. 